So the official reveal for the next set of free PlayStation Plus games is actually due out a little bit later today. We have got some information that could be a leak. At the moment, we're not too sure. It's still a little bit early. Nothing's been officially leaked on any PlayStation website so far, but there is quite a lot to talk about. Uh, we've got some bonus free content for an amazing game that I always talk about for you guys. And we've got a load of other stuff as well. Now, as usual, before we get into it, any of you guys that need to renew your PlayStation Plus memberships, if you're looking to get PSN credit on the cheap or just get a games at a decent discounted price, or even when it comes to new software, so software that I use for making videos and that sort of stuff, make sure you check out the sponsor in eBay.com. There is a link down below which will give you a bit of a discount. It's definitely worth it. Everything on there is usually like 20% off, sometimes a little bit more. Go take a look, get yourself some cool stuff. But let's get into it. So first up, The Drop. There's one new game out at the moment that's coming out in the next week or so that I think I'm interested in checking out. I've already mentioned the Lego game uh, last week, um, but Mythbusters. Um, now, unfortunately, this isn't on PlayStation. PlayStation-wise, there isn't really anything that new that I'm interested in checking out, but for PC gamers, Mythbusters the game. Now, I've played this in VR, and it's amazing. So if you've ever watched a TV show, it's literally myths from movies or just all sorts of stuff like ninjas and yeah, anything you can imagine really. And it's just testing out whether or not the physics and stuff that you hear in um, like movies, books and all that sort of stuff is actually possible. And when you play it in VR, it's amazing, not gonna lie. So just playing it on PC, a standard mouse and keyboard, it plays exactly the same. It's just obviously different controls, but it looks like it's gonna be tons and tons of fun. Can't wait for it. We'll see how that one plays out. Um, on to the main stuff though, what you guys watch for, the rumors. Now, for anyone that remembers Little Big Planet on the older PlayStation consoles, you guys might be a little bit happy if you enjoyed it. So, Little Big Planet was this game where it was kind of like a platformer. You made your own levels and you could go online and play creations that other people have made. Tons and tons of fun. And for PlayStation 5, there is Sackboy Big Adventure. Now, that is the game that is rumoured to be coming to PlayStation Plus for September. It's a game that I've been interested in for a while, but never picked it up. Um, I've messed around on it at friends' houses, and I did enjoy it. It's a decent platformer, um, but just never went out and bought it. So something like this coming to PlayStation Plus, I think would be amazing for me personally, just because it's a game that I've wanted to play for a while anyway. Uh, but at the same time, I know it's a title that a lot of people alone, I know it wasn't really a thing of buying a console and you got a free copy of Sackboy. When it was PS3, I remember the day I got a free copy of Little Big Planet and it was irritating. I think it was the same. It's been the same pretty much every time I've bought a new PlayStation. Usually you get a free copy of Little Big Planet because I've had to buy my son a PlayStation and stuff as well. But yeah, Sackboy. Please come to PlayStation Plus. I kind of really want to play you. Um, but yeah, moving on anyway, bonus content. It's always nice to get something for free, whether or not it's through PlayStation Plus or through a different service. This one, as usual, is through Twitch Prime. Don't worry if you don't have an active membership. There is a link down below so you can claim the stuff that I'm about to talk about, as well as a load of free games and a load of other content as well. But this week, just because it's it's close to my heart, I'm looking at some free stuff that you guys can claim for RuneScape. Now, yes, I know you might not be interested. It might not be something for you. A lot of people aren't bothered about it because it's a PC game. However, you can play it on mobile, you can play it on tabs, and it's just a really cool RPG game. It's something that you can play as an idle game as well, so you can kind of literally sit there, click on a tree, go do something, come back a few minutes later and sell what you've gathered. And yeah, go around PVMing, just killing bosses, trying to get the biggest drops in the game. If it's a game that you do play or if you're interested in playing it, you can actually get yourself a pack at the moment that gives you knowledge bombs, which just gives you a big XP boost so you level up faster and you get a pretty cool outfit as well. RuneScape's a game that I've played for quite a few years now and I absolutely adore it. It's one of them games that you can seem to play forever to the point people get little capes and stuff for playing the game for like 20 years, which is just absolutely crazy. Uh, before we move on, the music that you can hear in the background is Entisel, Lemon Mint. It's a decent track. I've been listening to it and I spent a bit of time searching for something to have in the background today. It's nice to do this. It kind of gives back to other creators to help promote them and that usual stuff. So again, in the comments, I'm curious what you guys think. What do you think of my music choice? I'm going to be quiet for like 20 seconds so you guys can have a listen. We'll turn up the volume and we'll chill out together. And then we'll figure out what I've been up to this week. <laughs> Not 
not a bad little track there. Again, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Um, now, what have I been up to? You guys always ask in the comments and everywhere what I've been up to. And I'll be honest, gaming, I've not been playing much recently. I've kind of got a complete new life with everything that I've been doing. It's been absolutely stupidly crazy. I've been doing a lot of traveling and stuff. Any of you guys that are more interested in the personal side rather than just the gaming stuff, that usually gets shared over on my Instagram stories and stuff. So make sure you check over on there. But what have I been up to? I actually went away for the weekend. I didn't travel far. I just kind of went into a city center did some activities with my partner it was pretty fun um trying to remember what we did on the spot Ooh, can i remember well first off we did an escape room which we fully managed to do i think we had like 15 minutes left or something that was pretty cool it was kind of set up in a little laboratory you had to do loads of little bits and bobs piecing stuff together looking at x-rays and stuff that was pretty cool uh, we went to a tapanyaki bar so there was cooking food in front of us and throwing things into your mouth that was pretty crazy and then we went to a really fancy cocktail bar as well um where we managed to get well i got like this big bowl of cereal that was a cocktail and like you poured it in and it was like a bailey style it was just amazing and then a bit of miniature golf and a really fancy hotel that's what I've been up to though, not really been gaming much. Um, obviously it's the end of the school holidays now, so I'm gonna have a lot more time on my hand. So hopefully the PlayStation will get turned on a little bit more. Uh, but before we finish up with my predictions, uh, any of you guys that are curious about my setup, uh, the monitors that I use, software and all that sort of stuff, you can find all the details down in the description. I don't use high budget stuff, it's always mid range and it just makes it easy on you guys if you don't know where to start. You don't want to spend a fortune on making content because you're just kind of starting out or you're just not too sure what to buy. So take a look, when you click through you always get a little bit of a discount using those links anyway. So. So get yourself out there and start making some fun content. But to finish up with my predictions, um, again, I'm not going to go for a specific. I'm going to go for a, a kind of set of games, which I'm imagining we're going to get something out of. It's been a while, and I'm just going to go for a Telltale game. Obviously, we've got like the Guardians of the Galaxy. There's quite a few others as well that have never come to PlayStation Plus. I think they were really, really cool games. I absolutely love them. The easy Platinums, you sit there for a few hours, it entertains you it's like watching a movie where you pick what happens and then you get trophies and then you get a platinum when it's finished what else is there to say it's absolutely awesome i absolutely love it um again like i say it's just more chilled out stuff and we haven't had one in a while telltale games have been on playstation plus before so it wouldn't be surprising and they're also on like playstation now but not all of them um so we'll see how that one goes um, but yeah, any of the games that I have mentioned today, if you guys are looking for new people to play with, make sure you jump in the Discord, decent community, just so you're not stuck playing on your own. Or if you stop playing a campaign game and just want help and advice or just to talk about gossip of games, um, just a really easy way to find new people to talk to. And again, when it comes to personal stuff, it usually gets shared over on my Insta and any other gaming news that I spot usually gets shared over on Twitter. So make sure you're following over on them as well. But that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have a like, it'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.